This is the six phase meditation by Vishen Lakhiani. It is a transformative meditation in my experience, as it comprises all of the facets of what might be considered a powerful meditation. The six phases of the meditation are connection, gratitude, forgiveness, visualizing, daily intention, and finally the blessing. This might be a more powerful meditation for you than that of Vishen's recording, because I'm not only providing you with the words, I'm also in deep prayer and projecting my energy into the audio. If this provides for you a much deeper and more profound experience, then please like this video and subscribe to the channel, and check out the link in the description. Now, make sure you are sitting in a comfortable position with your back gently erect. I want you to take a deep breath And as you exhale, gently feel your body sinking into a relaxed state of mind. You can use any regular meditation deepening or countdown you wish, or something you have found useful in the past to reach a deep level of mind. To help you go even deeper. I will gently guide you through a relaxation of your physical body. Feel the top of your head relax. Let this feeling of relaxation gently flow downwards to your forehead. Now your eyes. Feel your eyelids relax. Feel that sensation of relaxation in your eyelids. Feel that ease flow gently downwards throughout your body. Move the feeling across your face. Now down to your throat. Your neck all the way around. Shoulders. Feel them sink into deep relaxation. Now your upper arms. Down all the way to your hands. Now to your chest. Your abdomen. Down your back. Just let that relaxation cover your entire being. Now your bottom. Thighs, your knees, your calves, and your feet. Let that feeling of relaxation flow all the way down your body to your toes. You're now in a deeper, relaxed state of mind.
we will now begin the six phase meditation. The first phase is to draw your attention to your consciousness, to the feeling that goes beyond all physical feelings. You will most likely feel this within your head, but you can feel it anywhere and everywhere. It is the space within the space. You'll most likely feel this in your hands when you concentrate a little bit. Focus on your consciousness. Feel that consciousness expand now. Allow that energy to encompass your entire body. Allow yourself to be aware of that consciousness expanding now to encompass your entire body. Picture it as a white light emanating from your head, surrounding your entire body. In a white bubble, now Picture this light emanating further, surrounding and encompassing your entire room and anyone who may be in the room. A gentle, peaceful, loving light. See it expand even further, and now encompassing your entire home. Feel a feeling of peace, love joy resonate from you to anyone who might be in your home. Feel this light expand further. Imagine it now encompassing your entire neighborhood. Know that at a subtle level you are connecting to every living creature, plant, animal or human being in this neighborhood. Feel the light expand further and now encompassing your city, your town. See it expand even further and now encompass your state or region. Now your country. Now the continent. Now feel this light emanating from you encompassing the entire planet. Feel yourself connected to the planet. See yourself for what you are. A piece of consciousness directly connected to every other life form on planet Earth. Precious. We now move on to phase two. Gratitude. We now move on to phase two, gratitude. Bring to mind between five to ten things that make you grateful, joyful or happy in the last 24 hours. If you can't think of enough incidents in the last 24 hours, expand to the last three days, or even last week, or the last month. Think about things that happen at work and in your career, things that happen while you are traveling or in your free time, things that happen in your family life or with loved ones. It could be something big, or it could be something small, like a nice, warm, hot cup of coffee that you had in the morning. Express gratitude, 
and bring back to mind the feeling of joy and the emotions that you felt when these incidents occurred. Now we'll give you a minute to go through as many incidents of gratitude that you can think of. As you imagine and bring back to mind these incidents and moments, make them as vivid as you can. Incorporate all five senses, taste, touch, sound, smells and images. And most importantly, incorporate emotion. Bring back to the best of your ability your feelings of joy or happiness when you experience these moments. Feel that feeling of gratitude vibrate all throughout your body from your head to your toes, and know that when you express gratitude for beautiful moments in life, you open the way for these moments to repeat themselves and grow in terms of their magnitude. We will now move on to phase three, removing negative charges. A negative charge is any negative feeling that you might have towards a person or an incident. Bring to mind someone whom you might have a negative charge with. It could be a waiter who rubbed you the wrong way, or a co-worker you had a disagreement with or a family member you fought with. It could be big or small. See that person in front of you about six feet away. See their face as clearly as possible. And see their entire body as clearly as possible. You will now tell them that you apologize for any wrong that you brought to them. Know that at a deeper level, we are all one, we are all connected. And any negative charge towards any other living person, creature or life form is in a way a charge against yourself. And that's why we must rid ourselves of these charges. When you finish expressing the forgiveness to this person, ask them to forgive you. Imagine them forgiving you. Imagine that forgiveness moving towards you straight to your heart with a feeling of calm and peace as you recognize that forgiveness is easy. When you're first starting out practicing this forgiveness exercise with situations where forgiveness is easy, Repeat with as many people whom you might have had a negative charge with in the last hours or few days or week. Practice gently. Don't push it or force it. Just allow yourself and say to the other, I forgive you. And then imagine them saying, forgive you. Now we'll take a minute 
to do this practice with as many people as you wish. We now move on to phase four, visualizing your perfect future. For the next two minutes, simply visualize different aspects of your life as they would unfold in the future. Keep in mind that as a human being, we tend to overestimate what we can do in one year, but we tend to underestimate what we can do in three years. So take a three year stance, see your life years from now, see moments of joy, achievement, beauty, accomplishments, success. Let this be a free flowing imagination exercise, don't hold yourself back, be, think big, think bold. Remember to incorporate all five senses. What would your health and body look like three years from now? What does your family life look like three years from now? Who are your friends and how do you spend your time with them? Are you all growing together? What new skills are you learning and absorbing? What acts of service are you contributing to your community or to the world? What does your career look like? How do your finances look? What new traits have you brought into your character? What beautiful experience are you having to bring fun and adventure into your life? What does your love life look like? I now give you a minute or two to let this daydream move on and to take it in any direction you wish. Remember to incorporate all five senses, sound, smells, taste, vision and touch. Make the daydream as vivid as possible.
as you wrap up mentally, tell yourself, let this or something better unfold in my life. And we now move on to phase five. Visualize your perfect day. Ask yourself to let all the beautiful things I daydreamed come to me three years from now. What would I be doing today? How would my perfect day today unfold? If you're doing this exercise in the morning, visualize your perfect day when you leave the house today. If you're doing this at night, visualize your perfect day starting in the morning when you wake up. See yourself having an amazing breakfast, surrounded by amazing beings, a wonderful commute to work. just having a wonderful morning unfold perfectly see your friends and family coming into your life for anyone you experience they are shining and you're shining too everyone you meet you bring out the best in them, and they bring out the best in you. You feel an inner glow, experiencing whatever you experience this day. Whatever you experience or want to experience, just feel a depth of peace and happiness expand, surround you. Whether you're having a meal with a friend, reading a good book, watching a movie, working on a creative project, everything is just flowing perfectly. See yourself and everything in your day working out perfectly. And then going to bed and having the perfect sleep. I will give you a minute to visualize your entire day from the time you wake up to the time you'll go back to sleep unfolding in pure perfection in a way that will make you happy, grateful and let you daydream of your ideal self three years from now to come to you with ease. You can either use this day and project out a wonderful day or you can imagine what it's like one day, three years from now, having your perfect life. I will let you decide which one. I suggest when you first begin, imagine your future day. But as you progress, maybe you want to imagine this day being wonderful. Having the perfect day. Be sure to incorporate all five senses, make it as vivid as possible, bring in emotions of joy, excitement, gratitude as you see your day unfolding perfectly. Begin now.
bring yourself towards the end, the end of the day and see yourself going to bed and going into a deep, comfortable, rejuvenating sleep, ready to start the next day, to make the next day amazingly wonderful too. We now move on to phase six. In this phase, call upon any higher power that you believe in. It may be God, a God or a saint, an avatar, an angel, a guide. It may just be a, the force of life that permeates the entire world. Or may, it may be your own inner strength, your religion, your beliefs. And atheism, your spirituality, do not matter here. You're simply calling upon any higher power externally or internally that you believe in. Ask this higher power to bless you, to give you luck, energy, support, and to help you craft your perfect day. To make your dreams for the next three years unfold because only... When you are happy, and only when you are contributing to humanity, can you provide happiness, and can you contribute to others. Feel that support coming down on you. Feel the beam of light hitting your scalp, and gently flowing downwards throughout your entire body, from your skull, your spine, emanating into your torso, your chest, your arms and your legs. Feel this protective energy embracing you, knowing that luck is on your side and that the universe has your back. I will now give you a few moments to feel this energy surrounding and supporting you. We will now come out of this meditation. I'm now going to count from one to five. And at the count of five, you will open your eyes. You will come out of the state of meditation and you'll be ready to see your perfect day unfold. One, gently coming out. Two, Rising higher, coming back to your senses. Three. And on the count of five, you will come out of this meditation feeling wonderful, rejuvenated, positive, optimistic, and ready for that perfect day. Ready to see your life unfold in beauty and success for the next three years. Four. 
Almost there. Five. You've now come out of the six phase meditation. You know that your day is about to start in a wonderful way. And that all your wildest dreams and visions for the next three years are coming true for you. Wide awake. Feeling blessed. And joyful and peaceful. I love this meditation and I use it daily. I struggled with certain aspects of it and found that combining and refining this meditation with other effective modalities and methods helped immensely to get me into a deeper, more merged state and feel a greater impact. Neville Goddard's form of forgiveness called revision I found far more effective than just trying to forgive and his method of visualization is the most effective as I've experienced which can be found if you go over to Patreon and join me in the Lab of Conscious Creation. In there you will find regular updates of the best practices and methods I can find in the most helpful forms. Please like and subscribe and press the bell notification for more profound meditations, visualizations and manifestation practices. Plus, look in the description for more audios. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful day.